Hi friends, welcome back. I'm so excited to have you again. Miss Gorm's Corner is bringing you another special read aloud. Now, the story we're doing today, I'm sure you've heard it before. A different version, the version of A Night Before Christmas. Now, the story we're going to read today is just like that book, but it's written from the perspective of a teeny tiny little mouse. Let's get started. The Mouse Before Christmas. On the night before Christmas, there was a young mouse who was stirring and whirling all through the house. He longed to see Santa, that jolly old soul, so he stayed awake late and crept from his hole. Out in the kitchen, Mouse stacked up a treat, chocolate chip cookies for Santa to eat. He made not a sound as he hurried and scurried, but Puss was asleep, so he needn't have worried. Now on to the fireplace, Mouse gave a sigh. Though the cookies were heavy, he held the plate high. Next, where to hide? Mouse looked around quick. Snug in a pot, he could spy on St. Nick. Mouse waited and wondered and almost dozed off until hoofbeats and sleigh bells came from aloft. From out of the fireplace, bang, crash, and tumble, popped merry old Nick in a heap and a jumble. Mouse was delighted his wish had come true as Nick stuffed the stockings which started to sag. Mouse tiptoed near for a peek in his bag. Soon Santa was done, time to hurry away. He snatched up his sack and sprang out to his sleigh. With a swoosh and a swish, Mouse was bundled inside, but down in the darkness, there was no place to ride. It's stuffy, it's crowded, Mouse started to shout as he squeezed and wiggled and scrambled to find a way out. He soon spied a place to poke his head free, then beheld all around him sights splendid to see. He was high above earth in the winter night sky, streaking past stars in a sleigh that could fly. Mouse loved this new feeling, and when he looked down, far distance below shined the lights of his town. On rooftops down chimneys, old Santa did race. Mouse marveled the reindeer could keep up the pace. They soared past high mountains, skimmed low and near a river. The twists, dips, and turns set his tummy a quiver. Over bridges and castles and towers they flew. The rooftops of London gave Mouse a great view. Thrilling sights waited in each foreign land. In Holland, the windmills by moonlight looked grand. Mouse had never imagined a world so wide he lost count of the wonders he'd seen on his ride, crossing cities and countries over desert and sea, past the Sphinx and two towers, and miss 
Liberty. At the end of the night, at the very last house, Santa peeked in his, in his sack. Why, what's that? A young mouse? Mouse was so startled, he feared he'd just squeak. But in Santa's kind gaze, he found he could speak. Oh, Santa, I'm sorry for sneaking this ride, but your bag was so tempting, I climbed right inside. Santa just chuckled, little friend, don't you worry. Hop on my hat, you'll be home in a hurry. Mouse clung to the fringe, the wind chilled his face. The rocket-like sleigh zoomed and hurtled through space. Back home, safe and sound, there, pre there were presents for all. The one mouse liked best was a hat marked small. Then Santa crouched down till his beard touched the floor. The friends waved goodbye through the little front door. It was so late at night, Mouse was ready for bed, but he wanted to try his new hat on his head. It was just the right size, not too big, not too small. A hat just like Santa's, Mouse felt proud and tall. Mouse snuggled down, letting dreams fill his eyes, hearing words meant for him from a voice deep and wise. If you do all the things that a good mouse should do, don't be surprised when your wishes come true. Merry Christmas, dear mouse. Merry Christmas to you. The end. Wasn't that an adorable story? All right, my friends, I hope that all of your Christmas wishes come true. Bye.